What up guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. My name is David or D3 Gideon and I have a bit of a different interest like different type of video I guess. Basically I turned in around a thousand crucible tokens last night um, trying to get the full set of crucible gear for my Titan and I got a crap load of better devils. In fact I got six and <laughs> Each of them uh, has different roles on them. I mean, these two are the same, but like this one has more range, and you know, obviously the masterwork is going to be different for them and stuff like that. And so I figured, what is the best role for better devils? And not just down to statistics, which everybody kind of does, or their go-to perks that everybody, you know, goes after. Um, I can actually test all of these roles. You know what I mean? So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'll just start with this one and um, make my way down the list and I'll give you gameplay uh, probably of each gun I'm not gonna do like a full game because then this video would literally be an hour long um, you know six guns ten minute games so it'd be 60 minutes it'd be an hour long video and I know you guys don't want to sit through that and I don't want to sit through editing that so <laughs> no but um yeah, so let me just let me just jump into a game and I'll tell you guys my thoughts, opinions, which roles I like, which roles I don't like, all that kind of stuff. And then I guess you guys will have like actual hands-on knowledge of what the roles do uh, and like how how well they are, and not just you know through what their numbers on a chart is. That that's basically my main goal of this video, I guess. That and to point out that I got six better devils while turning in a stack of crucible tokens. <clears throat> so that's crazy. But yeah, I guess I will see you in the game. clarify that I'm trying to show how well the weapon performs and how each perk performs that's on the weapon. I'm not trying to showcase how much of uh, a beast I am in PvP, otherwise I would have just inserted a bunch of clips of me getting a bunch of kills and you guys would have been like, wow, he's good, he's getting a bunch of kills. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is show you guys the limits and how the weapon actually performs in certain situations and how well it competes against the current meta and all that. Uh, 
yeah, I just wanted to clarify that before the comment section got blown up about how much I suck. With that being said, I, I didn't care for it too much, uh, which is surprising because usually I like the more consistent perks or like passive type perks and not just like perks that you have to get kills or have to do a certain thing for them to activate. I usually do like the, the type of perks like moving target and stuff like that. But for this gun, for some reason, it just seemed to be way underperforming. You had to be like super close, but it's a 140 hand cannon, so you still have to like peak your shots. You can't just be uh, out in the open like how you, how you can with the 180s. Um, also, speaking of 180s, 180s have 100% accuracy in the air, so the 140s don't. There, there's just differences, and it's a different play style, so you have to keep that into consideration as well, uh, which is also why. I'm only inserting clips that show how well the gun is and not how much of how well of a player I am. Um, again, just to clarify. Okay, so yeah. Next next weapon, please. Thank you. Yeah, these ones, not good enough. Explosive rounds, I don't know if you know how it works, but it basically takes like a third or fourth of your initial damage and splits that into the explosive round so your actual bullet does less damage and then your explosive round does the other third or fourth of the damage that I took away. And I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't like it. Explosive rounds is cool because it makes them flinch if you get headshots, but uh, yeah, not good enough for me. Next.
It's honestly not that bad. Uh, the range finder is really nice because you can do more damage farther, so there isn't as much bullet drop off, and uh, obviously that's really beneficial. Um, so you're doing your maximum amount of damage for the farther distance that you can. Zimbo is pretty good. I in my mind, it kind of just makes the crit box a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't know if that's the case or not, but that's what it feels like. And so, so far, this has been my favorite one. <laughs>
hopefully you stop by stream, say what's up, say hi. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. You're truly the best. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.